Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how to generate a code for unit test cases for a service layer in a Spring Boot application. Well, let us say you are working on a Java Spring Boot project and you have a requirement to write the unit test cases for your service layer. And if you know already how to write the unit test cases for you know entities in a service layer, then it is a good idea that you can use the chat GPT to quickly generate the code. So instead of manually typing the code line by line, what you can do is you can ask chat GPT to quickly generate the code for unit test cases so that you can save your time and boost your productivity. So that is what we are going to discuss in this lecture. Well here I have created this generic prompt that we can use to ask chat GPT to generate the code for unit test cases for service layer. And again this is the generic prompt so we can use this prompt to generate the unit test cases for any entity. For example, let us say you want to generate the unit test cases for product entity. You can simply replace this placeholder with product entity name. If you want the unit test cases for employee, you can mention employee. Okay. So let us quickly go through this prompt now and then later we will use this prompt and we will ask chat GPT to generate the unit test cases. Okay. So here act as a senior Java developer. Well, we are assigning the role to the chat GPT like act as a senior java developer and generate the code for unit test cases as per our requirement. I want to generate a unit test for service layer of Spring Boot 3.5 project using Java 21, JUnit 5, Makito. And again look at here the version. I have mentioned Spring Boot 3.5 but you can give Spring Boot version as per your requirement. Let us say if you are working in an existing Spring Boot project and it is uses you know the lower version like 3.0 or 2.5 etc then that version you can mention over here all right next java 21 so here i have mentioned java 21 but you can use any java version that you want for example you can use java 8 you can use java 11 java 17 java 21 java 25 next jnit 5 and mokito you can also mention the version for these libraries as per your requirement so we are asking chat gpt to generate the unit test cases for service layer using these technologies Spring Boot, Java, JUnit and Mokito. Next project setup. So we are telling chat GPT that this is our project setup and as per the project setup generate the code for unit test cases. For example our project has an entity so entity can be any name that you can give over here. You can replace this placeholder with the entity name for example employee, product, student, course etc and then fields for the entity for example if we use employee then we can give the fields like id first name last name email and then we have a service implementation class like if we give entity name as employee then we can say employee service IMPL, which implements employee service interface and then our project has the repository called employee repository that extends jp repository and then our project also has a resource not found custom exception all right next test requirement so we are asking chat GPT, this is our text requirement and accordingly you generate the unit test cases. Like we use JUnit 5, we use Mockito for mocking the repository and then just generate the unit test cases for service layer, not for the controller or repository, you know, layer. Write the unit test cases for these service methods like create, get all, get, update, delete. If we give employee, then create employee, get all employees get employee by id update employee delete employee next what are our expectations so we are telling chat gpt that this is our expectation and accordingly you generate the unit test cases like we are telling chat gpt to use this annotation for Mercuto integration so this will basically integrate Mercuto with junit framework and then we are telling chat gpt to use mock annotation to mock the repository and then we are telling chat gpt to use at inject mocks annotation to inject the mocked repository object into this employee service sample class and then we are telling chat gpt to use verify method to verify the method calls next we are telling chat gpt to use these assert methods from junit next we are telling chat gpt to generate the unit test cases that handles this resource not found exception in these two methods Next, we are telling ChatGPT to create a mock or dummy object for this entity. Next, this section is optional. 
we can tell chat gpt to organize the test methods with meaningful names and we, we can also tell chat gpt to follow the pattern like we can ask chat gpt to generate the unit test cases that follows given when then format or arrange act assert pattern if you want given when then you can just remove this if you want this you can remove this given when then and then write clean and readable test code so this basically follows the best practices and it is optional because chat gpt generates the code that follows you know best practices but it is good to mention all this stuff next what i want to do is going to copy this prompt and we will replace the placeholders and then we'll use this prompt in a chat gpt and we'll see how chat gpt provides the response for this prompt so here let me copy this prompt and let me paste in the IntelliJ idea file and here let us go ahead and quickly replace the placeholders so go to edit and then go to find and replace section so here let us replace the entity name well we can give any entity name that you want if you are working in existing project and if you have a requirement to develop the unit test cases then you can give that entity name over here for example let us say we want to generate the unit test cases for employee then you can just mention the employee as an entity name and you can remove from here and then click on replace all next we have a field list placeholder so here we can mention the fields for employee entity for example id and then first name and then last name and then email and then department and then employee code okay so any number of fields you can mention over here next the service layer implementation class employee service IMPL that implements employee service employee repository next test requirements you can see the methods create employee get all employees get employee by id update employee delete employee perfect now we have replaced all the placeholders next we are good to use this prompt so just copy this prompt and go to the chat gpt pre version so here click on the new chat so this is a free version of chat gpt and if you want to use the paid version you can upgrade next in a chat just paste the prompt and then click on this submit button let us wait for a moment chat gpt will generate the complete code for unit test cases and there we go chat gpt response has completed now let us quickly go through the code well here you can see the file name employee service impl test.java so we are writing the unit test cases for the employee service impl class so this is the name for the test class so we are just appending the text word to this service class so this is the standard naming convention that we use to write the test class name you can follow the same next scroll down and then we told chat gpt to generate the unit test cases for only employee service impl class not for the controller and repository so chat gpt follows all our instructions over here and then add mock annotation to mock this employee repository add inject mocks annotation to inject this mocked you know object into this employee service impl so this add inject mocks annotation basically inject this mocked employee repository object into this employee service impl object next the chat gpt generated a dummy or mock object for this employee in the setup so this setup method will get called before each and every JUnit test case so that you can get the fresh employee object next you can see the unit test cases test create employee underscore success so this is for the positive use case and you can see chat gpt also added add display name annotation to display the test name properly in the console so don't get confused with unit test case and j unit test case so in java we write the unit test case using j unit framework so we can call either j unit test case or unit test case okay so this is the j unit test case it is annotated with at display name annotation so we use at display name annotation to display the name for this j unit test case in the console this j unit test case uses given when then format so this is the industry standard format that typically we 
use while writing the unit test cases. Next, this is the J unit test case for get all employees method. And this is the J unit test case for get employee by ID method. And look at here. This method has two unit test cases, one for the positive, one for the negative. You can see get employee by ID underscore not found. So this is the unit test case that basically handles resource not found exception. So we are telling chat GPT to generate the code for all the unit test cases like cover the positive use cases as well as negative use cases. That is what we can see over here. And then this is the J unit test case for update employee method. And this is the J unit test case for update employee method that throws resource not found exception. And then this is the J unit test case for delete employee method. This is the J unit test case for delete employee method that throws resource not found exception. Awesome, right? So we don't need to write the unit test cases manually. It consumes a lot of time. Just get the help from ChatGPT and generate the code like this and you can use this code in your project. Next scroll down and here you can see highlights of this source code. ChatGPT used JUnit5 annotations, Mercator annotations and methods. It followed given when then structure. It covered crude plus exception scenarios. It used assert throws, assert equals and assert not null methods. It also verified the repository methods as well. And then ChatGPT also provides the optional tips like you can run these unit test cases using this Marvin command. Perfect. So all the things that you need to set up the unit test cases in your project, you can get from this ChatGPT response. This is awesome, right? So ChatGPT is your coding assistant. You can ask anything to the ChatGPT. ChatGPT will give you everything that you mention in the chat. Okay. I notice here this is the generic prompt. So you can use this prompt in any AI tool like you can use with ChatGPT, Google, Gemini, GitHub Pilot or Cloud AI. Alright, great. I will see you in the next video.